House Bill 1016, which I signed today, is another step in the board's continued journey for more transparency and uh, strength in our plans. It changes the method by which a retiree's cost of a living adjustment is calculated to make the cost of living adjustment reflect what is affordable given actual earnings experience and what is needed given actual inflation experience. The bill also requires more immediate attention be paid to a planned problem. Under current law, a problem has to exist for several years in a row before the law requires the board to make a recommendation for change to improve the situation. The new law will require immediate recommendations. If either of two things occur, if either the plan is not 100% funded, or if the contribution uh, is not going to be enough to meet what the actuary is recommending. 